welcome to my new segment which I call Below the Apple Tree. In the first installment I want to talk to you about the flavor of food or how to actually describe it. As an example I'm going to use birch syrup which I just got this morning from an Estonian supplier. If I talk with friends of mine or people I know who are not working in the food sector about the flavor of food it, it always seems like it's a bit hard for them to to describe um, and I think it's actually not that difficult at all. The basic part and actually I think it's actually the most important part is did you like it or didn't you like it? So you already have some very basic but hugely important descriptors there. Then if you're interested you can move on into the six basic flavors you perceive with our tongue. So that is sweet, that is salty, bitter, sour. Then there is the funny sounding one, which is umami. It's a Japanese word and describes very savory food. For example, fried meat, mushrooms, and then of course, soy sauce. And finally, and this might come as a surprise to you, there is fatty. In the last years, uh, scientists have discovered that with our taste buds, we can also perceive fatty. Those are the six basic flavors. And with those, you already can do quite a bit. So for example, if you try an apple, if you imagine biting into it you already have you probably have there is of course sweet and then depending on type of apple and when it was picked there is also a certain degree of sourness more or less so we already have two vocabularies plus did you like it or didn't you like it to describe the apple then if you want to move on even further we have to start using other food items as an example so for example you remember what the taste of an apple is just try to remember it and then you try something and it tastes sweet and sour exactly like, like an apple so you can say oh it tastes like an apple and then maybe there is also a hint of bread in it and milk <laughs> I don't know which kind of food item this would be but just as an example probably it's easiest if we do it together as I see this birch syrup it's for me the first time to try it so when you start trying something whether it's wine beer syrup, an apple, some five course menu at a restaurant, whatever, you start looking at it. And then you can, if you want to write it down or just describe it to a friend, you start by describing what it looks like. In the case of the syrup here, you can see it's brownish red and you can almost can't see through it. Next step is to take it out or put it on a fork or whatever. So here in this case, the syrup, uh, beautiful you describe the smell so after looking at it the next part is the smell in the case of the syrup it has a very noticeable sweet note but it's not sweet sweet it's almost like brown unrefined sugar and I, I can't smell anything more so once you looked at it and smelled it the next part is tasting it don't take everything at once but carefully bit after bit Try to cover your whole mouth so you can really perceive it. In this case, it really tastes like what it smells like, which is not always the case. So it tastes like sweet, of course, and it tastes like brown unrefined sugar. But when I try it a bit more, there are also some other notes in there. So probably it's best if I visualize it for you. We have to the brown sugar which I just said before so here you go and then I detected something else which really strongly reminded me of banana but not a, a yellow banana but one that got a bit lost in your fruit basket way down and got really really ripe so it's it's dark so it also has this flavor of a dark banana and then there is also some certain sourness in it, but it wasn't a, a, like some vinegar, but more sweet sour. And I think as best an example to describe it, actually a green apple. Those are the three most dominant flavors. If you try it a bit more, you probably will realize that there is more nuances to it. There are coming out other flavors. I would call it almost perfumes of the main flavors. In this case, it really tasted like some dried fruits, but not an apple, more dried red fruits. So I took, I brought with me a plum, a dried plum. 
And then the last hint, it's a very fine hint. Most of you, you know from one of your favorite drinks, from gin tonic. It isn't the tonic part I'm interested in, but more the gin part. And most gins are actually flavored with juniper berries. So it has a very feeble greenish hint of juniper berries. So I also just brought one berry to also demonstrate that it's a very small part of the whole flavor. So as you can see here, this is the flavor of birch syrup. So we have banana, green apple and brown sugar and then very small hints of dried plums and a bit of juniper berries. And there you have it. This is how you describe it. So when the next time you're somewhere and you're in a good restaurant or if you just want to describe food, try it carefully and try to remember what, what it tastes like. What, so compare it to other things you tried before. When you do this every once in a while, you don't have to do it like every day, of course, only if you want to, you start to, it comes much more easily to you because your brain already has a very complex library of flavors the only part that is difficult for us at the moment is to name it, to give it a name. So when you practice it, it will be much easier for you to just, just give it a name. And you will see, you will really discover a whole new world of flavor. See you next time in another installment of Below the Apple Tree. I want to try to uh, put one out every week now, where we talk about the flavor of food and different kinds of items. So if, you're, if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe and also check me out on Instagram. I will put the links below. See you next time.